to those who carried out this attack, as well as anyone who wishes America harm, know this, we will not forgive. We will not forget. We will hunt you down and make you pay. Tom, a little after 5 p.m. local time, as the sun was starting to set over Kabul, the U.S. military says it carried out a drone strike against an ISIS-K vehicle heading for the airport. U.S. Central Command says the vehicle was packed with explosives and posed an imminent threat. Yesterday, uh, U.S. military forces uh, conducted an over-the-horizon counterterrorism uh, operation uh, against an ISIS-K planner uh, and facilitator. The airstrike occurred in the Nangarhar province of Afghanistan. I can confirm, as more information has come in, that two high-profile ISIS targets were killed and one was wounded. And we know of zero civilian casualties. I won't speak to the details of this, of these individuals, uh, or what their specific roles might be. But as the general said, we uh, have the ability and the means to carry out over the horizon counterterrorism capabilities, and we're going to uh, we're going to defend ourselves. And I, I think I just leave it at that. We had very good intelligence uh, that ISIS K was preparing uh, a specific type vehicle uh, at a specific type location, and it was a righteous strike. Can you address those concerns and speak to whether these drone strikes mean an extension of the war? The strikes that killed ISIS K terrorists. Of more. President Biden yesterday said uh, that this is not over. Well, if anybody wants to convey they don't think that we should kill ISIS K terrorists and kill the people who uh, uh, killed 13 members of our uh, military, then the president's happy to have that debate. Tonight, the U.S. military admitting to a horrific mistake that left seven innocent children and three innocent adults, including an aid worker for an American company, dead. I offer my profound condolences to the family and friends of those who were killed. Our investigation now concludes that the strike was a tragic mistake. We now know that there was no connection between Mr. Ahmadi and ISIS Khorasan, that his activities on that day were completely harmless and not at all related to the imminent threat we believed we faced. According to law, the USA that they should punish the two persons uh, targeted innocent uh, children, innocent uh, person at my home. The Defense Department says no U.S. troops will be punished for a mistaken drone strike in Afghanistan. I've also ordered my commanders to develop operational plans to strike ISIS-K assets, leadership, and facilities. We will respond with force and precision at our time, at the place we choose, in the moment of our choosing. 